Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. Cambridge Quantum Computing Limited has raised $50 million. They're developing a computer operating system called Ticket that will solve increasingly complex data problems in any industry, from finance to defence. Online personal styling service for men, Thread.com, has raised an $8 million Series A funding round. Stock market information platform Stockflare has smashed its crowdfunding target on Crowdcube to raise £445,000 in a two-week campaign. And Klaus Hommels leads VC firm Lakestar, an early backer of Skype, Facebook and King.com and has raised a $400 million fund to invest in tech startups. The UN have appointed a privacy chief due to the concerns about surveillance following the revelations of Edward Snowden. Joseph Canatassi will concentrate on four main areas, including a universal law on surveillance, tackling the business models of the big tech corporations, defining privacy and raising awareness among the public. Even if change will not come overnight, it is a bold move as it puts the digital right to privacy on the same level as other human rights. A 3D printed robotic prosthetic hand has won the 2015 UK James Dyson Award. The prototype, which was created by Joel Gibbard, is cheaper, quicker and more dexterous than current alternatives on the market. The custom fitted socket can be made in less than two days and opens and closes via sensors stuck to the wearer's skin, which detects muscle movement. 3D printing is finding its natural home in the medical industry and is already well established in areas such as the production of hearing aids and dental devices. Now our download of the week is Swipe Boutique, which we can only describe as the Tinder for handbags. Swipe through thousands of different styles, brands and price ranges to create your personalised wish list. A little bit dangerous if you are a shopaholic, but it certainly takes the legwork out of finding a new bag. Swank Boutique is currently available for free on Google Play and the iOS version is arriving in the next couple of months. And finally, Linkin Park has teamed up with Harvard Business School for Machine Shop Ventures, their newly formed investment firm. They've already acquired stakes in ride-sharing service Lyft, Blue Bottle Coffee and the hot shipping startup Ship. And hey, if the investments don't work out... This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and please follow us on Twitter.